obviously a big night from uh, Destiny Slocum, but uh, the, came up with the huge shot. Can you just talk about the last couple of minutes and uh, I guess the, the big shots you had? Yeah, clutch. It was really clutch. Uh, I think she got us off to a great start, uh, which allowed us to be in that position. Um, you know, we got a little bit frazzled, but those those fifth year seniors settled us down and. Um, you know, to, to get 20 and, and 10 assists, that's accounting for a lot of our offense tonight. Uh, we needed every single one of them. Natalie, go ahead. Hey, Coach, you know, last time we spoke, uh, you mentioned Robin Pinchon's team is going to be one of those teams that are in these games till the very end, you know, if they didn't win them. You know, since we last spoke, what have you seen from this team, especially tonight, you played such a close game? I, I've been in all, a bunch of five- and six-point games all year long. I mean, it just seems like one after the other. Every time I'm – when I'm watching film, I look down at what the score is. It's four or five points one way or the other. You know, they continue to improve. They're, they're, um, they're so hard to guard offensively. They shoot – so well. I mean, I, I feel like holding them to forty-eight percent is almost kind of a victory. Uh, we didn't turn them over enough tonight. Uh, that, that's usually, you know, where we try to balance those rebounds out. They crushed us on the boards, but you know, fortunately, we only turned it over four times. But they're that's a really, really good team. Uh, you know, I think if um, if all you do is look at their record and you don't look at the the the, the nitty gritty and the nuts and bolts of their games, you don't realize. Uh, how talented that team is and how good they are. Melissa, go ahead. Mike, this team has had big wins this year, but you couldn't get an SEC road <laughs> win until tonight. Do you, feel, do you feel like maybe there's a monkey off the back? Yeah. Is, how big was this for your girls to finally get a road win? Well, I, I know it was big for them, but I'll tell you, I've been, I've been beating myself up for traveling the day of the game and thinking maybe that had something to do with it. So we can let go of that rumor. We can dispel that. Whoever's putting that message on the message board, y'all can get on there and uh, – have our backs on that. That's not uh, that's not a sure thing. But um, any road win in the SEC, especially this year, when you look at where we had to go, uh, we knew it was going to be valuable. And it's so hard to do against the person you play twice. You know, we play these guys twice every year. So uh, to get the sweep, uh, the end season sweep, is a really big thing for us. Paul, go ahead. Just uh, you, you talked about getting off to the start. Uh, I mean. Uh, you know, you talked about winning it in the middle last time. I mean, you almost kind of won it at the beginning. You yeah. Know, even though you, I saw the, the big lead went away, which is obviously something you don't want. Sure. They, you know, they started out in zone, which, uh, you know, we we're pretty good against zone, and we made a bunch of shots early. And, you know, sometimes when you make a bunch of shots early, you, you get a little bit overconfident. You think they're just going to keep going down all night long. Uh, and they were just very – I thought they were very systematic and just kept plugging away and getting it back to, you know – uh, within striking distance, I think we led almost the whole game. I don't know that they ever took the lead after two to nothing. Maybe they – oh, they took it – they went up one there late. Yeah, um, two and a half, about two and a half minutes. Yeah. They led. Yes, yes, because in that timeout we said, hey, this is kind of exactly what happened against UConn. And we went back to that moment and said, hey, you remember UConn took that lead on us and we came right back out and responded. Uh, and then, then I thought from that point on it was – it was never comfortable, believe me. It, we never felt like uh, it was uh, a sure thing until that final horn went off. But uh, uh, it was, you, you're right, we won it at the beginning, and then I think in the middle of that third quarter, we were pretty good too. Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, um, Coach Neighbors, this is Michelle Vopel. Um, I know you've talked about this a lot <laughs> this year, so forgive yeah, me. But it's okay. This three headed, this three headed guard, when you're looking at, yep. I believe, 66 points. 14 assists and one turnover. I yep. mean, that's about as good a backcourt performance as you can get. It, can you just talk about the, how the three of them work to, together to, to produce this? Yeah, it's it's take what the defense gives you and make them wrong mentality. Uh, it is, hey, it is just, hey, they're not guarding me. Hey, they're not guarding you. Hey, they're going under the screen. When you hear them talking, it's just such a high-level basketball conversation. Uh, and a lot of times I just get out of the way and listen. Um, but those three have really – it, it took us a while. I'm not going to tell you it didn't take us a while to figure it out that, you know, over the course of the number of games, it was going to be somebody's night every night. And then some nights it's going to be all three of your nights. Uh, and it took us a little while. I, I think the COVID um, uh, protocols kept us from being able to get as close to destiny and 
understand her. This kid's a deep roller and, and, and use the words and how to talk to her and how you can talk to her. You can coach that kid hard. So I think it took us a little bit of time as coaches and I know it did as players because we separated those kids. You know, like Destiny, don't get in the car with Matt because if y'all both go out of the game, we've lost our point guards. So it took us a little bit of time, but they really developed a really cool uh, connection that can just make a lot of defenses wrong based on, you know, a scouting report or, or how the play develops. But yeah, that that type of production, you know, and again, it, it, it's it's become one of those things that it's just so fun to watch and so fun to coach. Colin, go ahead. Mike, I know you don't coach Missouri, but Haley Frank, a really good three-point shooter, is, is one of 12 in her last three games. Is that something you pick up on, that fluctuation in the scout? And if so, uh, as a guy who coaches a lot of good three-point shooters, can you attribute that to anything? Is it just yeah, it's just that time of the year. They're starting to get to that wall. They're 14 games in or 13 or 14 games in. No, nah, she's a shooter. Her dad's a coach. They, they, there is nothing wrong with it. I will tell you that it is a it is highlighted, underlined, bold printed, italics, brackets around, ellipses around, or whatever other punctuation mark on the scouting report. You know, when she does this, she's trying to pop and catch. We can't allow that to happen or we gotta put a hand up. The the goal is to always make her not shoot it where she caught it. So if that helps her, if she reads that and it helps her one little bit, knock somebody off in the SEC, then uh, maybe I, but you know, coach, it's all about, it's just all about getting that kid. She keeps shooting. She's a great shooter. Uh, and, and they'll start falling in. I'm glad we don't play them again. Kyle, go ahead. Yeah, coach, last game you talked about getting LaDasia Williams out of the game early with foul trouble. Uh, today she didn't have any fouls, but she scored 10 points and she didn't play much on the stretch. What were you able to do so effectively today to get her out of that game out of her rhythm? Well, I think we mixed up our double teams, you know, when they were coming, where they were coming from, and sometimes they didn't come. Uh, Taylor did a really good job, a much better job this time of pushing her out, making her catch it a little bit further away from the goal. And then the other thing that we were so much better at this game uh, was transition defense. She really hurt us in transition a couple times uh, the first game, and she does to a lot of people. Um, and, and then she only got one offensive rebound. That was another thing that we were able to limit from her.